What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Horror Hangout. Uh, this is one of my favorite videos to do every month. Um, it's going to be a weird angle because I'm showing you a bunch of stuff. This is the uh, horror movie collection update for January 2022. I always feel like I'm not getting much until I do my uh, collection update videos, and I'm like, good grief, I got a bunch of stuff. So, let's just jump right in. Um, I got some VHS, some 4K, some... Uh, Arrow videos, all kinds of stuff, man. So let's start off with the stuff I just showed y'all earlier. I got my uh, horror pack January 2022. I got a copy of Prevenge. I've already got it, so I'm gonna take it to the shop. Also, it also had uh, The Dark and the Wicked, um, Puppet Master, The Littlest Reich, which I cannot wait to watch, and uh, Bad Dreams. It's a compilation of ten horror movies from some fest. I can't wait to watch that. Actually, it's gonna be exciting. Um, I thought I had this, but I didn't, so I picked up a copy of Prometheus uh, on Blu-ray. I got a copy of 31. I'm not a fan of Rob Zombie's movies, but I know if I don't like this, which I'm anticipating not liking it, I can throw it up for sale on my store. No big deal. It only cost me a couple bucks. Sell it for a couple bucks. No harm, no foul there. And this is one that I was really mad that I didn't have, so when I found it, I got really happy because I love this movie. It is the original Invisible Man movie, H.G. Wells' Invisible Man one of the best horror movies that I've ever watched from this era. Probably my top two or three of that era. Frankenstein's, uh, Bride of Frankenstein's up there with me, up there with it. Um, all right, let's see here. I want to show y'all some really cool things. Some really cool things. Cool, cool things. Yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. I got a copy of The Elephant Man on DVD. I've never seen it. I thought I had, but I don't think I have. It's all right, though. We're going to watch it. I got a copy of Halloween Extended Edition. This is pretty rare. This is pretty rare. Even used, it's like 30 bucks. Got a pop copy of Ninja 3, The Domination, because I had it on VHS, but I, I think I'm going to sell that and keep the Blu-ray. Got Clive Barker's Hellraiser 1 and 2 on Arrow Video. Check them out. Let's go. I love it, man. Hellraiser, a movie that I'm starting to really appreciate. I didn't really care for it too much until recently. I have got to take my foot and stick it straight in my mouth because I was wrong, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Uh, one that took me a little while to find it, but once I did, I was very excited. I got Candyman, Day of the Dead, Collector's Edition from Vestron Video. Nice little slip cover there. I love this. Be my victim. Look at that. I was their victim. They got me, man. I bought three of these janks. You know, I got the store and all. And then I got Akira on 4K. I consider this a horror movie. Bro, I watched this. Golf clap. This is a beautiful 4K. I mean, this might be one of my top couple of 4Ks that I've ever watched. So good. Another really great 4K that I got was Last Night in Soho. Also with a slipcover. This was... Just one of my favorite movies of the year. Uh, I picked up, begrudgingly, a copy of Titan on Blu-ray. I need to watch this movie and just stop being a pussy about it and enjoy it. <laughs> this was a weird movie, bro. Weird movie. Boo -doo -boo -boo. I picked up Josh and Chris's favorite movie of the year, Knock Knock. They love this movie. I thought it was all right. They really do like it a lot, though. I don't know, man. Whatever, though. Came with a digital copy. Bam! I'll be selling them digital copies. Anybody ever wants a digital copy of something, let me know. I picked up Antlers. One of my favorite movies of the year last year. I need to open this bad boy up and give it a watch. Very bleak, dark movie. Uh, here's one movie that I just discovered that I didn't know I liked until I watched it, of course. But I just discovered this movie, and it was a blast. It's called Night of the Comet, an 80s like horror sci-fi type of flick. It was really, really good, man. I enjoyed it a lot. Dude, Screen Factory comes with the heat, bro. I love Screen Factory stuff. Um, I also got a copy of Dark Man Collector's Edition on Screen Factory. This movie is just, come on, bro. Sam Raimi, Liam Neeson's, and uh, lots and lots of fun. Boy. See you soon, boy. I got a copy of American Psycho Unrated on 4K. Um steelbook with a really cool slip cover as a matter of fact you know what let's open this up i'm gonna see if it is what i think it is uh also i'll be doing a book review on the channel pretty soon i gotta do one more listen through of american psycho the novel and i'll be doing a book review for the first time 
and I'm kind of nervous about it because, well, I've never done a book review and I've only written a little bit in my life and I don't want to look like a fool. So <laughs> just bear with me. Um, I'll probably make it a short video though, just to make it, just to get through it. Okay, let's see what this bad boy looks like. I was told that the slipcover was really cool, so we're going to find out. Come on, Patrick Bateman. All right, let's see. I'll look at it on here with y'all. Oh, I'm nervous. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Push it this way. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 I like that. Oh, I kind of do like that, actually. He's peeling the face mask off, and as he peels it off, there's like blood splatter on his face. I dig it, I dig it. Oh, dude, look at that. Let's go. Oh, yes, this is nice. Dude, check it out. On the inside, look. Comes a digital copy, of course, but it's also got his business card. <laughs> Let's go! Cool. I need to give this a rewatch soon. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. I love this ridiculous movie. It's got one of them, like, super underrated casts. It's just really, really good. <clears throat> okay. I got a couple of VHS tapes. So let's look at those. First off, I got a copy of I Spit on Your Grave. Uh, Wizard Video. Unopened. But there's a catch. Check it out. So the guy wasn't sure what it was. He told me it was legit. I don't think it was. I didn't pay a lot for it, so I'm not worried about it. But you see the Wizard Video logo? I think your boy got a bootleg, which I kind of like. I mean, a real one in this condition would be like $200, right? Maybe more than that even. So uh, I didn't pay enough for it. I paid like 60 bucks. Maybe not even that much. I can't remember what it was. Not a lot though. So this will be for sale at my shop for about 60 bucks or something like that. Something like that. Uh, I just wanted to get it and show you guys. This I don't keep everything that I have in the, in this in, that I get every month. But that one, I don't really care about that movie that much because it, I don't do the revenge movies very well. They make me like nauseous. Now these three tapes... I love Witter Entertainment, Broke Horror Fan. It's a great company, man. I, I got a lot of their stuff. I'm going to be reorganizing my uh, stuff over here. You see what that was? I don't know. You might have. <laughs> Somebody's going to pause that and be like, what's this boy doing over there? <clears throat> I'm married, man. We like to have fun. <laughs> um, I got a copy of... Black Friday, uh, Broke Horror Fan, limited edition, I think 125 copies made or something like that, 150. Um, I like this movie. I ordered a copy on Blu-ray too so I can watch it because I don't really watch these VHS tapes. I guess I should, huh? But, uh, oh, there's the baby. He got a bath just now, so he's feeling all frisky. And then I got two copies of, actually I got three, but one's at the store. I got Werewolves Within, uh... Bro, bro. So this one is one of only 25. <laughs> and then this one's one of 125. And I get to keep both of them because I'm a greedy fat boy. When it comes to the movies I collect in, oh, yeah. See, this is my, uh, my Witter Entertainment. Broke Horror Fan Collection. I've got one, two, three, four, five, seven movies from them right now. I've got Color Out of Space, Two Times Terrifier, Void, Werewolves Within, Two Times, and Black Friday. Do check out my Terrifier box set. Ooh, buddy. I gotta find a nice prime place for that one. So right, let's see here. My favorite stuff of the month. It might be, I think the Halloween uh, Extended Edition is pretty amazing. Uh, I'm gonna go with Ninja 3 because of how ridiculous that's like a ninja horror movie and let's go let's go american psycho 4k so that's my top three of the month top three of the month but yeah man i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love showing everybody the cool things i get and i'm not married to any of this stuff the stuff i won't sell is probably my my brook horror fan tape collection um, and then anything Terrifier related or Scream related, but anything else, man, I'm, I'm always willing to part ways with some stuff if it's a fan of the movie. Um, let me know if you see something that you're really, really interested in. 
uh, but basically what I do, if it's something super, super cool, like the uh, spit on your grave thing or the Halloween uh, special edition or extended edition, I'll kind of like, actually, this might be in the top three too, just because of how weird it is, but I'll, I'll hold on to it for a little while and love on it for a little bit and enjoy it. And then I'll flip it, you know, then I'll flip it and see what, uh, you know, just get something else with that money. That's just how I do things. But anyways, look, if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so you can watch all of our cool videos. We drop two, three, four, five times a week sometimes, but definitely every week, minimum of three videos a week, two are live streams. One is an upload at minimum every week. So, uh, stay tuned for, uh, more content over here at Horror Hangout. Love you guys, man. Have a great day. Peace.